Hey guys, it's Chris Taylor. I'm back again. Yes, this is the last video, I promise you. Two more things to look at. Uh, synchronizing your iPod, or MP3 player, whatever. And two, Media Monkey Gold. Okay. Um, just one thing to address, or two things to address. One is if you like the track browser in uh, iTunes, they also have it here. You can go through just like they, you do in iTunes, going down, clicking Empire of the Sun, John Mayer, RMA3, whatever you want. Okay, You can turn that off and on. I don't really like it. Another thing, Monkey Rock on the side here can be skinned. I turned it into a black um, black look. I like it a little bit better. Okay, You can change that in Tools and Options. Uh, monkey Rock settings are here. You can change the skin right here. Okay, while we're in here, I'm going to show you a couple of things that Monkey Rock brings to the table. I mean, Media Monkey Gold, sorry. Tags and playlists, uh, file file monitor. Okay, so if I know it, it's bad that the free Media Monkey doesn't have this, but if you want to have a folder on your computer that you're just going to add a bunch of music to, music to, and you want Media Monkey to know when you're adding music or you know when you're changing things, you need to add a folder to be monitored. I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to... Where is it? My documents. My music, my music. I'm going to add CDs. This this, uh, this folder is going to be monitored, so if I add any music into it, they're going to add it up into my Media Monkey, or they're going to change stuff. This is also auto work, and I don't use that. Okay, let's uh, keep going on Media Monkey Gold here. One of the main things that people don't like about other... Uh, players is that they don't have a recently added. Yes, Media Monkey does not have a recently added, but with the purchase of Media Monkey Gold, you can make auto playlists. Okay. Now I'm gonna add in. I know it kind of sucks that you have to do it manually, but that's okay. I'm gonna add in an auto playlist. What an auto playlist is is it basically can organize your files in any way you want. Okay. I'm going to do. Where is it? I'm going to do added. Okay, so it's going to sort all through all my music in when it was added. So first to last because it's A to Z, but I want it to have recently added. So I'm going to do Z to A. So the most recently added, which is the last, is going to be first and come up first. You can also show at most 50 tracks, 650 megabytes or 74 minutes. I like to keep it at about 200 tracks so it doesn't get too crazy. So I'm going to press OK on that and then I'm going to click recently added. The only songs that have been recently added into my Media Monkey because I just opened it up and did it all for these new videos uh, are Yuxek and Youth Group. So that'll show up there. Okay, that's enough for Media Monkey Gold. Uh, I haven't used Media Monkey Gold for much, for very long, sorry. So I don't know totally. I might do another video, but probably not. Alright, so iPod or MP3 synchronization. I am plugging my MP3 player right now into my computer. It is called the Sansa 4 Gigabyte. Okay. It should show up here. Yeah. There it goes. Okay. So hopefully, when you plug in your MP3 player, it will that Media Monkey will download a plugin so that it, it can be fooled around with. Yes, we'll look around with in Media Monkey. Okay, so it'll come up here as another tree node. I'm gonna click it. Here's all the music that I have in my Sansa 4 Gigabyte. If I want to change anything, I can click. I can remove. Okay, I can remove Kings of Leon. I can play. You can actually play the songs on your iPod through your Media Monkey if you wish. Now, to add songs to an iPod or an MP3 player, this is the same exact thing as an iPod. It's really this easy. You go to, let's say, uh, Grizzly Bear. If we want a specific CD to put it, to be put in to the MP3 player, you're going to click on the CD. I'm going to highlight all these. I'm going to right click, and then I'm going to say send to, and the Sansa Clip 4 gigabyte is going to be up there. So I'm going to press that, and as you can see, this bottom bar here is going to say copying to Sansa clip 4 gigabyte and it's going to be copying all 14 tracks when it's done when this bar gets to the end it's all done it's really that easy okay and I 
think that's about it for the video. There's nothing else to say. I mean, it's it's really simple to synchronize your iPod. One more thing, I guess. There's also auto synchronization. Where is it? Which is here. You can auto synchronize, but I don't like to do that because I have too many tracks and not enough space in my MP3 player. If you have a huge iPod with like, I don't know, 120 gigs, uh, then you can press auto synchronize, and every time you add it, you plug in your MP3 player to your computer. The songs can be just synchronized uh, to your iPod. You don't have to do anything really. You just have to plug it in and plug it out when it's done. That's it. Okay, so that's it for this. Uh, it goes sort of fast, depending on your computer and your USB setup. If you have a USB 2.0, it's going to go much faster than 1.0, obviously. Uh, it's done right now. That's it. I swear it's that easy. Okay? Thanks for watching all my videos. This is going to be the last one, most likely. Okay? I hope you guys learned a little bit more about MIDI Monkey. I love this program, so maybe go pick it up, download it. If not, that's okay. Thanks for watching the video, anyways.